Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're having a good day. If you're new here, my name is Melanie and I do a large variety of different videos. I do everything from story times, trying things on camera for the first time, small business hauls, experience videos, collective hauls, vlogs, concert type videos, beauty box unboxings, food hauls and so much more. Today's unboxing is of my latest Wick Nice order. If you don't know, Wick Nice sell wax melts predominantly. They did candles at Christmas. They've done candles before, but I'd never had them before Christmas and they were really good candles. They do room sprays and they've done other bits and pieces as well. They do wax burners. They've had beauty ranges with bath bombs and hand sanitizers and shower gels. I've had the shower gels, they've been amazing. I've also had the bath bombs, not all of them, but I've had some. And they're one of my favourite small businesses, like in my top three. I've been following them for the longest time. I've been buying from them for the longest time. I never miss a restock. The wax melts are amazing. I've probably got too many of the wax melts, but you know what? I don't care. Do you know what? That's just reminded me. I was meant to get some tea lights today and I forgot. And I literally have about two, maybe three. I might find the odd one around the house somewhere. Um, but yeah. It arrived today, Friday the whatever, 10th, 8th, 9th, 10th, yeah, of February. I ordered it not Tuesday this week, but Tuesday last week. It was dispatched last Saturday. And I actually was hoping it would arrive Wednesday. Do you know when in your head you think, oh, it might arrive today? And it didn't. So I was like, oh, maybe it'll arrive tomorrow, as in Thursday. <laughs> and it didn't. And then I didn't really think anything about today. I was just like, if it comes, it comes. And it did, and I'm actually filming this about half past eight at night. Oh, 20 to nine. But I wanted to film it because I do want to get into this box and start using it maybe tomorrow. I've not really been burning wax melts because my tea lights were running out and then I've used some wax melts and then I literally have, like there's one in here that I can see and I might have a few dotted around the house but I don't think I've got any downstairs that I know of but I don't think I have. So I should have gone in the shop that I was thinking of, but I didn't want to... Do you know, sometimes like I'm like, is it going to have a queue? I don't really think I've got time to do it, and I just didn't. But I would like some tea lights. Anyway, I have took this out of the box. You would have seen if you've watched my unboxing, we get these in every order and it comes on that. I just really like this. I'm going to um, throw it in my dog walking bag or maybe tie it to the handle. Because the handy to have, like you can have it on your wrist or in your hair. Sometimes I lose scrunchies and stuff, so or sometimes I forget to take one, like if I don't plait my hair before I go, um, which I tend to do if I'm wearing a big coat, but sometimes like I just want to whack my hair up. Anyway, so I have took that off. There's also a slush puppy sherbet tubies bar, which I've never had before. By the way, I'm filming from over here, so I can't really see what's on screen because the camera's a little bit out of my eyesight so i'm hoping like i think i know what where the camera's showing but there is that and there's also a free sample and we got blueberry furry now in the last restock there was a lot well i think there was 20 new cents in total but i think there was a collection of it was either four or five and they were all like snow furry themed and one of them was actually snow furry she calls it something else for like because you can't use snow furry as a word to like sell your own products because obviously someone owns snow furry and if it smells identical it's going to cause issues now i know i have got some of the range i can't remember there was four or five but this was one of them and i didn't order this scent and I think that's why I've ended up with the sample because obviously she can see what I did order the reason I didn't order blueberry furry is because a couple of years ago I got a blueberry blueberry flavored wax melt I think it was either called blueberry muffin or blueberry and vanilla which to me says blueberry muffin and it was horrific it didn't smell like blueberry it had this really strong horrible scent and I didn't like it and it put me off blueberry like it put me off blueberry scented wax melts so every time i've seen anything that's like blueberry in the title i've avoided it so that's why i didn't order the obvious like this is a sample but the full size of this 
but it's in here i absolutely firstly love the color of the wax melt but that glitter is like really nice so based on how nice this smells i don't need to avoid blueberry forever but I am scared that I'm going to end up with something that smells like that one did and I just did not like it at all. It was horrible. But this is really nice. It just smells like blueberry. I actually got that because now I know that if I did like, want that in the future, if she did it again, I'd be tempted to get it because it is just nice, a nice blueberry scent. I love my fruit scents. I love my natural scents. I'm not into like perfume ones because she did the area. Ariana Grande set, she did a set of three of the three fragrances. I don't know if she's done more than that, but I didn't get them. A, because I've never smelt the Ariana Grande fragrances, although I've heard they're good. And secondly, I'm not massively into perfume scented wax melts. I know a lot of people are. I think it would depend on what they smelt like. If they weren't atypical perfume scent, I might be tempted, but I think they have may, may have sold out. So this is one of the new scents. Firstly, how good do they look? And I love the packaging from Wick Nice. It always looks really good. So this is in the scent Rabina Coconut and Citrus. Now, I love anything with coconut in. I'll tell you what though, there's some coconut scents I can't stand. Like, obviously there's a lot of things that are scented coconut and it's like an artificial coconut scent. Now, I don't mind the artificial coconut scent, but there's some of them that they're so artificial smelling that I don't like. I've not come across many, but this has got citrus in. Now, I hate artificial citrus scents, especially lemon. So I'm always a bit weary about buying anything that's lemon scented. Now, I think this is going to be um, lime scented anyway. But sometimes I'll see things that are scented lemon and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it because I just... I'm not a fan of the artificial lemon scent. But these just smell, oh god. These just smell like I, I could eat them. But they smell like a very creamy coconut with lime in. So the scent that I had guessed, that's what these smell like. So if you do end up on the website and you love a nice coconut and citrus scent, this is lovely. In fact, I could eat that if it was edible. Now again, if you've followed me for a long time, you will know that my all-time favourite scent from Wick Nice is Lemon Marshmallow Buttercream. Now, if she did room sprays in this and candles, I would literally buy it all because I love this. Because I didn't know if she was ever going to bring it back, I've kept some last time. I think I've either got four or six. And when I placed this order, I opened one of them and, and one, half of it's in the wax burner. And I'd not used the wax burner for weeks because my tea lights were running out. But I had it on. Like, I think I went through three tea lights with half of one of these because these are long-lasting. But also, it's my also favourite scent. So when I saw it in the list, because I didn't know if she was bringing it back, I bought 11 of them. Now, this smells delicious. It's not fake lemon, by the way. And when I opened one the other day, and I was like, what does this smell like? Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, and now I don't know if the yellow ones are lemon flavoured, but it reminds me of what a lemon flavoured Starburst would smell like. It's just the most beautiful, creamy lemon scent that I've ever smelled in my life. So if Starburst did lemon, that's what these would smell like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eleven. Now I did have I did have ten of them in my basket and then I added another one and then 
after I'd placed my order, I did go back on and consider getting more. And I think there was only six left in stock or something like that. Because I, I, I did want them. I'll be honest, I did want them. And then I thought, I don't want to be that person. Because what is if someone really wanted it and someone likes it? And wanted to add it to their order, so I didn't. As tempting as it as, as <laughs> I can to speak, as tempting as it was to go back on and order it again or more, I didn't because I didn't want anyone to miss out on that beautiful scent. But in reality, I wish she'd done more because I would have probably bought twenty of them. And I'm hoping she does the room spray in it because I'll, I'd literally just spray it all the time. I'm not even lying, like. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Now the set of three that she did for the Ari Grande collection, they came in bow clamshells. Oh, this little bow's coming off. Hold on, make it look pretty. This is obviously not that scent. This is Ruby Laundry, which smells like Ruby Jasmine fabric conditioner, which is one of my top three fabric conditioners. And if you've watched me, you'll know what the other two are. Now today I actually replaced one of my favourite ones with the same one again, but it wasn't this. I've not had Ruby Jasmine for ages. Now I do like a laundry scented wax melt. I don't buy many of them and it's normally typically something that I use or have used and really like as a laundry conditioner scent. And I tend to use these on a day where I'm doing a lot of housework and I'm doing laundry on the same day. So then, obviously, whilst my washing's washing, my house is going to smell like freshly washed laundry. And this does smell like ruby jasmine. If you've ever had ruby jasmine, it's an absolutely gorgeous wax. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous fabric conditioner scent. And this is what it smells like. It's really nice. I feel like this smells slightly different, but only slightly different. Like, you can tell, if you've had ruby jasmine, you can tell that it smells like that. And I also love the colour, it's a very dark pink. Let me just show you something. I already own one of these and it's sealed and I actually got this one with nice, it might have come in a lucky bag. Remember when we used to do mystery bags? Oh, is it mystery bag or lucky bag? Lucky bags. Now this is going to go in my car because I have hand sanitizers in my car. Well, there's only one in at the moment. I normally have a couple. And the one I'm using, is that brand, is it C-U-R-E-X? Is that how it's spelled? And it's just the white, like a clear one, but it's in a bigger one than this. It's, it's a bigger one than this. It's not massive. It might be 100 mil or a little bit more. And I use it every time, like I go in a shop and I come out, I'll sanitise my hands. And then when I do petrol and stuff, I sanitise my hands. And it, I used to do that before the pandemic. And it started initially from um, for doing petrol. Do you know, sometimes you pick up a petrol pump and sometimes people have got petrol on it. And I, I don't know how they've done it because I've never managed to get petrol on the petrol pump. But I have picked one up and I've ended up with petrol on my hands. And that's why initially I started to put a hand sanitizer in my car. And then obviously like I go food shopping and then... I'm walking around shops and I'm picking up things that other people have picked up and like I'm touching things that other people have touched like on the self-checkout and the trolley someone might have put it back and they might have germs and because I was getting sick all the time because I was picking up everything that was going around like I started just having sanitizers in my car and I'd, I'd use all sorts of different ones I'd use the Curex ones I'd use the um I'd use Aldi's own, like I had all sorts of different scents in my car. Like sometimes I'd have like three or four different ones. But at the moment, actually, I think I've just spelt it wrong what I've got. If I remember when I'm editing this, I'll put it on screen now, the brand of the one that I've got. And I, I feel like I have another one of those unless I used it. But like in here now, I've still got two two hand sanitizers. One I got free from my protein. And one by a brand called Mallow's Beauty, which I'm not a fan of Mallow's Beauty. She gets the products made for her, but they're not the greatest like products ever. But because of how she markets markets them to be kind of like mental health friendly, she sells a lot of them. But I've got this very watery one because it's full of alcohol. But I don't think it's meant to be this watery because she made a because this has got seventy percent alcohol in it and it's very thick, and this has got eighty in it and it's like water. 
and when I made a comment at, about it, she's like, it's because it's full of alcohol, and I'm like, yeah, but I've got ones that are like, only got slightly less in, and it's a thick gel, so this stays in here. I've not used it much, but you know, you don't need much. So this one will go immediately in my car because I've had it a while. But the reason I bought these is because a, I need, a, I want a couple in my car anyway. I want one in my dog walking bag. So because I've got one on the go, one will go in my car one of these will go in the dog walking bag and one i'll just have like for when i need to replace whenever but these were on offer for a pound each instead of two pounds bubble tea products are really good and they're vegan so i know they're gonna be good so that's why i got them but like i've shown you i do have one and i feel like i might have one by super drug that i also got in a, a wick nice rookie bag and I've it's in here somewhere if, if I do have it and I need to find it so obviously I can use it because obviously hand sanitizers are great anyway but like I said like I went in a shop today when I came out the first thing I did was hand sanitize then I had some tweet went to a petrol station when I got back in I hand sanitized went to another shop when I got back in a hand sanitizer just feel like it just helps so that's why I picked two of them up I've had a Wick Nice Room Spray a very long time ago. Now, it was a Christmas one. It worked last Christmas or the Christmas before, so it must have been the Christmas before that. They did this um, gingerbread man box. It was like a little box, and it had things in it. And from memory, it had a room spray in Snow Furry. And either wax melts or a bath bomb or both, I can't remember, but... The room spray was snow furry and actually it was in a white bottle i think or oh, it was white but it was quite see-through like it was a very thin white one and it was more of a rounded one do you know like this is more like straight and not curvy and i sprayed it roads and then it like it fell behind summer and i didn't see it for months and months and then i found it and like it lasted me forever it was such a strong scent so I've not bought one since and I do like to have air fresheners. I've like got ones I've got from the shop, do you know like what's that brand called? Is it Febreze where you can get like scented ones like like Christmas is like the apple one and then there's the plum one and others. I've still got some festive ones from a couple of years ago that I'm trying to use. But I do like stuff like this that are like made by small businesses that are like smell of things. And I can't remember how many cents she did because when I first looked at the list, I was like, I don't really want any of them because I think there was Snow Fairy, which I don't want because I've gone off it. I think I had it too much and now I'm over it. She had Spring Awakening, which again, I have had some stuff in Spring Awakening and I think I had so much of it. Again, I went, I'm, I'm like not a fan of it. I think there was one other one and then this one and I got Muddled Plum. Because I thought it might be like, do you know, like the plum the fruit. I thought it would be like either a really rich kind of plummy scent or like a sweet one, like a sweet plum scent. So that's why I chose it. And I don't know where it's going to go because typically I did have it outside my bedroom. So if there was any strong smells coming from places that someone else had made, I would spray it down the stairs. Um, and sometimes I'll just spray it to like freshen up the room or whatever but I think I'm going to put it in my living room just for the simple reason do you know like sometimes like you, you do your cleaning and stuff and even if you've got wax melts on sometimes it's nice just to give the room a bit of a spray or if there's someone coming round even if you've got your wax melts on you just want your house to smell really nice so you just have a quick spray even if you don't have your wax melts on and things like this are good like the last spray that I got like it's about to run out, it's in coconut and lime. I got from another small business. I don't think Wick Nice were doing sprays at the time. And I really like the coconut and lime one and I would just spray it all the time. There's a little bit left. So I do think this is going to go downstairs and I'm going to replace it. And I just sprayed it and it is plummy. It feels like it's got... An under perfume undertone, but I know it's not a perfume scent. It's just 
got that vibe to it. So I'd love it in coconut. Do you know what? If she ever did it in coconut lime, I'd 100% get that. But I'm hoping she does lemon marshmallow buttercream. I did hint at it, but I don't know if she's going to do it. Right, the final two products are to do with the range that I mentioned. You know, like I've said that there was a Snow Fairy range where one of them was Snow Fairy, but the others were like a name and then Fairy afterwards, and it was like a new collection. Now, I can't remember if there was four or five cents, and I know straight away, immediately, Snow Fairy was off my list, and so was the Blueberry Fairy. And I think that left me with three. And there was one that I knew 100% I was going to get, and the other two that was left... I didn't mind which one I got so um, I didn't get all five a because I didn't want the blueberry one B I didn't want snow fairy but I could have got three but I didn't want to get way too many because like I said I've not really been using wax melts I've been burning candles like crazy because my wax my, because my tea lights have been super low for like 5,000 years basically so um, I didn't want to get too many and like I've got loads of wax melts i need to start going through them really so i'm gonna have to get some tea lights so firstly the packaging 10 out of 10 it's cute it's pink like it's girly i mean it could be manly as well some men like pink so you know packaging wick nice just win again and again and again because it just all looks good now these are in the scent bubble furry now there was a scent description on instagram and stuff and there was this one and there was other one, the other one smelled like it sounded like it was going to smell like pear drops i think so i don't know why i didn't get that one but like i said i couldn't really decide do you know what this smells like bubble gum at first when i smelled it i thought it smelled a lot like snow fairy but yeah, it smells like bubble gum. Do you know, like a really fruity bubble gum. I like that. In fact, the other day I got strawberry flavoured bubble gum, and I opened it yesterday because I've been eating vegan and I couldn't have it. I got this from Randall's UK, and it's really nice. So um, I might put some of this in my dog walking bag. I probably won't have it on a dog walk because obviously I can't just spit it out. But I might have it for when I get back from a dog walk and I can chew it on my way home. So I might have to get some more of that because that is a nice chewing gum. Like the flavour doesn't last long but it lasts more than enough to get home. The second one that I went for, this is the one that as soon as I saw the name before I read the description I knew I was going to get. I mean, I don't know if you noticed but it is a different shade of pink. They're, they're all different shades of pink I think. Well the blue blue one isn't, it's more of a purple toned blue this is strawberry furry now if you know me i love anything strawberry flavored i love anything strawberry scented and the same with black currant but i don't know if witness has ever done anything black currant so again it smells edible smells like something you would get to eat that smells like a taste of strawberries it doesn't smell like strawberries but it smells like a something you would buy to eat like i don't know i can't think of anything like a summer strawberry cake i mean i don't know that is stunning do you know what i'm going to struggle on because i can't decide which i'm going to burn it which i'm going to burn first it's either going to be strawberry furry because it's just delicious and i love a fruit scent i don't know if i've said already i probably have Anything fruit scented as long as it's not artificial lemon and anything very natural, like I love the natural scents, like if you see the candles I get and some of the wax melts, I love anything natural, anything, her oh god I love a herby scent. Like it's funny because years ago if someone said you're going to love herby scents or like lavender, like I love lavender, I'd be like you're crazy. But yeah I do absolutely love all these scents now. So I'm going to be spot for choice because obviously lemon marshmallow buttercream is my all time favourite but I've got one on the go because when I knew these were coming I opened one that I've been keeping. So it's going to be a tough choice between strawberry furry and the verbena and the verbena coconut and citrus because I just like them equally as much. So to recap on what I got, I got the strawberry furry. 
I got the double furry. I got I got the Ravina coconut and citrus that is to die for. I got the Ruby laundry which smells like Ruby Jasmine, which 10 out of 10. I got the lemon lemon marshmallow buttercreams. I'm not gonna put them all back. I got this muddle plum, which do you know what? I don't even have a candle or anything lit, so Oh, I'm not going to spray that. I'm going to go and light a candle and chill out for a bit because it's like five past nine. I got two of these. One's going to go in the dog walking bag. One's going to be spare because I do have this one that I've had a while. In fact, so I know which one I want in the car. I'm just going to take that off. Should I smell it? I'm just going to smell it. Oh, it's, it's sealed. I just smell it and I can't smell anything because it's sealed. But that's the one that's going to go in the car. I also got a Tubies bar and I got the blueby ones which are really nice if she's got any left in looking and that's what I got I think it was just over 30 pounds like I do have the invoice but it doesn't print the prices on the invoice it just says how many and what I've ordered so it just it like it, I placed the order on the 31st of January it's 6 6 11 p.m. the restock went on at 6 um, but I, it, I know it was over 30 because I got free shipping and I know it was more than £33 because I used the 10% discount code and for it to still stay over 30 I would have had to have spent over £33 so I think it was like £31 something for all of that and this is going to last me ages because I've been heavily into my candles and also these wax melts are so good that you can get up to 20 hours out of some of them some of them you can't but you could get a good 10 to 12 hours but some you can get 20 some you can get more depending on what the scent is and how how much fragrance oil is in it but they're just amazing quality wax melts if you're looking to get some If you've got any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section if you're new to my channel or you watch my videos and you're not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell notification button that way when i upload a video you'll get an alert to let you know i've uploaded and then if it's something you'd like to watch you feel free to watch it if not wait for the next video it might be of more interest to you i hope you have an amazing rest of the day and an amazing upcoming week depending on when you watch this and I'm sure I'll be back with another unboxing soon. Thank you so much for watching.